Now we're going to use Storyblocks image service, which lets us transform our images. To enable our image service, you'll have to replace the a.storyblock.com with image2.storyblock.com in your asset URLs. After this comes the param, which must be between the base and the resource parts of your asset URL. For this purpose, we're going to create a transform image function. Once we have that, we can use it in our template. We will use the transform image function on our image and provide it a custom width and height. As we can see, the image is already resized. Now let's showcase the different options by duplicating the original image. If we use 0 as a value, that dimension will be proportional to the original image. Besides resizing the images, we can use filters as well. Some of them are mentioned in the documentation, like quality and format. We can chain multiple filters together. Now we have set our image to 50% quality and also we use the modern image format WebP. As Storyblock is using Tumblr, to see all the possible filters, you can find them on their website. To showcase these filters, we will pick two of them for our image, the blur and the grayscale.